Thank you for the adventure. Hello, moments of fans. For those who might remember the old good old days of this, when we first met him in 2019 in the SMG4 universe, the greatest manga artist of all time, and a great friend to the team, Axel, who sadly passed away in September 18th, 2021, at the end of the Genesis arc. Without a doubt, we have many of it, I have plenty of greatest moments with him to remember him in our lives. Today, welcome aboard, viewers. My name is Icebird2104, and this is the top 10 Axel moments in SMG4. This list contains some fun moments, emotional moments, and horrible and terrifying moments, but also some epic moments that really gives us some feels to remember Axel so much. There are plenty to, rem to talk about. There, there are plenty of spoilers for those who watches the series, who haven't caught up to the series. Though I'm sorry for the action, and if you and if you want to watch the Genesis arc, please check on check on my check on the playlist. I made for the SMG4, for, for SMG4's uh, The Genesis Arc, or I done the whole full movie. Alright, let's, let's look at the top 10 list, and to remember the good old, to remember good old Axel, rest in peace, old friend. Number 10. Sadly, we won't see much of, of the Ink Weaver for much longer after after Axel and Mario finally managed to find the final piece. Thanks to all thanks to the to the, to the ruthless virus SMG Zero. Unfortunately in the world of SMG four there there is actually we 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 will still think we can find a way to have Ink Weaver back. Our number ten spot is getting fixing up the Ink Weaver. From the episode, if Mario was an anime, Mario Mario found out Axel's throwing throwing his anime stuff out the windows in frustration. Axel is kind. Of, Axel told Mario he lost his title as the as the world's greatest artist. Meanwhile, for and much more worse of all, he still he did told Mario losing he. Inkweaver is like a good boost room for his life, but losing it is kind of losing of an arm. Oh, and two piece. Yeah, the critics actually manages to rub it on his face, saying, saying it's a very absolute disaster of a of, of a series. So finally, Axel decided to make an fight. Got a, got a, got a piece building, piece finding device built it on. Onto the Ink Weaver, that that led it towards Mario to go on, on an epic adventure of into the world of Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Demon Slayer, commits a new Yaiba, Jimmy Neutron. Why does why does that become an anime now? One Piece, Bleach. Funny joke, by the way. Jo jo Death Note, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, and of course. Are, and of course, Spirited Away and Avatar: The Last Airbender because it is an anime. We have been all been remembering a good old adventures into these worlds of animes for much longer. Mario did manage to found the, the final piece, but unfortunately, it was actually it was been used as a doorstop by none of have been done 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 SMG three. This is absolutely a pre. Obvious place to go, but so of course that would happen. Mario helping Axel out is the last time we get to see Axel helping helping Mario out in, in the adventures before before Zero shows up. Hey, at, at least we got an at least we got a very good sweet happy ending of seeing Ink Weaver, but sadly, like I said, it won't it won't. 
it's going to be the last time I've seen Inkweaver because of because of Zero. We wish we can see more of this hilarious penguin, this the club penguin dance. <sighs> huh? Mario, did you get it? Mario, you did it! Can I have some money now? Now, put this back together. Number nine. Spoilers alert! I uh, for the for this list, you might gonna see a lot of Axel and Melanie moments, but this is we're gonna start off something simple as Axel accident. Lee calls Mel break Melanie's heart after after a fit of jealousy. Of course, fear of jealousies can be a huge issue towards people, but you might understand this truly. A after Axel kills Watermelon Kun in front of Melanie, Melanie decides to punish Axel by by sin by unfriending him, which however was not agree. Which is pretty soul crushing for a manga artist. Much more worse of them all, she chose throughout all the friends that she wants to hang out. Why Bob of all people? So in order to to keep it, to protect her from from Bob trying to turn it going to a to a dirty side, Axel tries his hardest to become a guardian angel. Sadly, it will not happen. Happen much? He keeps on. He almost tried to screw everything up. Sat even worse of them all. Bob nearly. Bob almost tried to get into get her into trouble as well. So in order to get his to get to get her back, Axel needs Bob's help, which absolutely do nothing until but cause a little bit of trouble. So in order. After after Melanie came in, run runs away upset and stayed on top on, on top of the McDonald's sign, Axel, with help from Mario and Bob, came to apologize to Met to Melanie. This moment was a was a pretty sweet way to, to remember this these two to start of their journey. Just before the soul crushing departure in the Genesis arc. But still Gonna admit, it was a pretty great episode. The Melanie felony is a pretty funny, was a pretty fun, heartwarming moment for for Axel's character arc. But at the end, at the end of the story, entire, entirely, right now, Axel became much more as a great, as a great caretaker for Melanie. At least, at least, mm, the, Axel became great friend, had some great friends with Mario and Bob. Backing him up. It's a pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet way to say goodbye. To pretty sweet way to remember this episode. The Melanie Felony is a. It's a pretty solid episode, but it's also a pretty good recommendation, especially for those who are the fans of, of Wolfie Two, the YouTuber who voiced Melanie. Sorry, Melanie. And I mean this. 
this from the bottom of my heart. Hey! Melanie, I... You can do it! Huh? I want us to be friends again! Ooh. Yes! Job! Get the f*** down from there! Stop sipping! Look how dope we look! Time to start a band! Another moment of excellent Mel Melanie's moments. This time around, it's at the at the at Peach's castle for for a very comedic moment. In this episode, the intruders, the the gang, the gang, etc. It's in G four. Panics over the over the bees. Over a bee enters to enters the neighborhood. This is how a pretty comedic our hero the, these guys are. Well, they are pretty worthless at best. After after Terry manages to throw, throw the bee out of the window, the the bee came into into the room where Bob and Axel are, and also Melanie included. The episode the episode ma Bob and Axel find that inch to escape, but Axel this guy realizes Melanie is still in the in the room. Axel rushes into to the room acting as a hero and decided to pro came in there like a real good pro but rushes into the, into the action trying to wake Melanie up proving to be a hilarious moment we all loved wish we can actually do to wake up a lazy person I'm sorry I'm not I'm not saying Melanie is not lazy she's pretty cute we love her but but we can admit this is pretty comedic at best just before we get to see Mel Melanie woke Melanie woken up. Anyway, and finally got left out. She was dragged and carried away by Axel until she until we we <laughs> figured out that Melanie just holding the bee this entire time. Oh, Axel, sweet sweet Axel, you are such an idiot. And also, plus, if you. Probably remembered this video before. This, yes, this is actually a pretty hilarious reference parody of the of the funny vi animated video, uh, which is I'm going to show you right this moment, which is sharing comparing it to to the screen as well to the scene as well. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Number seven. This is the first time ever we saw, saw an Axel in in the first time ever in 2019. The Japan trip was the first was the first time ever we seen the Axel at all for the first time ever, and and his beloved trusty panda Inkweaver. In so in order to find a way to get to get to to get to unban to unban the mushroom unban anime from the Mushroom Kingdom. S M G four Bob Boopkins and Psycho met need help from from Axel. Of course, Axel agrees to help. Lean to <clears throat> lean to lean to helping out towards the gang. This is lead. Everyone was reunited to meet to get to get Axel to sort to sort out with Peach in this in this in, in the other in the next episode. Mario saves anime. Okay, first of, okay, first which is actually after the, the Mario showdown, which is dealing with Desti. R.I.P. By the way, this this episode is a, Mario saves anime is actually also a great moment for Boopkins as he actually as he is one, the one who shows Peach the light. 
But we gotta admit, this episode also delivers. For us, gonna be a pretty amazing, great moment to stop against a, an evil. Pr stopping against a princess who hates anime. By giving her the showing her the true light of the world of anime. Plus, her singing skills need, need, need some adjustments next time we. Next time she sings. Oh, and Swagmaster's fight with Axel was pretty solid, but yeah, we, this is led to, the first half of the arc is already over, but what really shines, though, is a pretty satisfying victory for our heroes, but that's only just the beginning. As the second half will get a lot more suspicious, the dark, especially with, with, with the, with the, with the anime nerd, no, then it's Francis. Who else remembers? Who else remember that that nerd? And you wish you want to see him dead for for a long time coming. He deserves to die. Welcome. Yo, I am Bob Busan, the famous mango artist. These are my bitches. Bitches, say hello. Hello. Idiots. Oh. Oh. Well? Oh. Uh, I'm a level 99 weeaboo. <laughs> oh. Hey, what was that for? Juman Berry de Tasketa Girkedo. Coco de Akiramete. Tamarumondeska. I'm sorry for tricking you, Senpai. Things have just been so horrible since anime's been banned back home. <laughs> We enter week three of the anime band with the anime secret service cracking down even harder on everyone's favorite Japanese cartoons. Okay then. Boy! My name's Boomker! <laughs> Don't fret! Does that include waifus? Nice! Yeah, boy. Time to tickle my pickle. Sasuga Sanjukun, Oh, we were destined to meet you, Axel Senpai. But what's your plan for legalizing anime? Ink Weaver. <laughs> Yay, anime! <laughs> My name's Axel, and Princess. <laughs> Unbanned anime. Yeah, <laughs> boy. No. Oh. Oh. I don't think so. Pumpkins. All right. <laughs> I can show you the world of Japanese anime. A magical creation with whatever your heart decides. I can open your eyes, take you series by series. Shoujo shonen and edgies with awesome storylines. A whole new world. It's great to be an otaku. Lift the band, join me and be who we be. A whole new world, where transform the media. When I watch it all day, I sure can't see. But now I'm in a whole new world with you. Hey, you very shut. Anime is. Yay! 
not bad. Ha ha. All right. Number six. A long time ago, I was sent to this world in a USB pod. Not remembering anything about who I am, I searched for answers. Throughout my adventures, I made a huge discovery. The existence of an SMG-1 and 2. They supposedly arrived here in their own USB. Before sacrificing themselves, they gave one last request. We have a Guardian Pod too! Find it! It'll explain everything! Ah yes, we all remembered our number six place entry here is the it's do not time to find the, to find the SMG 4s Guardian pod at during the Genesis arc. And of course the Genesis, the 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 pod USB is somewhere down in the dark web. For those who remember the ten years anniversary special, the dark web is a very dark place. That is the name pronounced as the dark web. So in order to find US, the SMG 4's Guardian pod throughout the dark web. SMG 4, Mario, Bob, Axel, and Melanie, of because she's a hacker, must go through must go through the dark go through the dark web and get through the, through the tunnels. There are a few couple of obstacles along the way. That includes the worst part has got to go to the onion dump. Sadly, we get it's a pretty messed up experience at all, and yes, we kind of agreed to, to this moment adventuring for a lifetime. And although we love some hilarious moments, Bob just straight up screwed us all for this part. Nearly screwed us all here, as as he's nearly sent, nearly had Melanie to go completely traumatized. Yes, we all knew Melanie has has a power of a god. But but she still, but she has the innocence of a five-year-old. So in order to get her back to her senses, Axel, who has the ability to transform her into a chunk, he 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 transformed himself into a chunk. Seriously, this moment is so cute. We still love it all day. Watch it now. Oh. Number five. Moments are in the episode Mario got woke. Axel was taken away by a mysterious YouTube creature, and we kind of feel nervous. What happened to Axel? Likely, that answer finally revealed in the episode The Internet Graveyard. He became kind of lost in his. M Sense his mental state when when he when he encounters when he encounters Mario and Luigi. This is actually kind of a bit worrying what happens to Axel and and however he manages to survive that whole ordeal. The sad part is his beloved Ink Weaver is broken, which is kind of a bit sad for some fans who want to see some anime characters come to life. Then, however, in order to get them back. At, to, to the Mushroom Kingdom, they need to go to, to Starbucks and need help from SMG4. Prepare for one of the most bizarre, bonkers adventures of all time. We all love how Axel gets lost his mind in it anyway after a few weeks, I mean a few episodes, but at least he got, and he has a scar which is kind of a bit worrying about him, but but the best part about him, after he goes insane, is his creation of his beloved two-piece anime. Sadly, well, that won't be happening again, though, since we all remember, since the Genesis arc happens. Yes, the Internet Graveyard episode is during the YouTube arc, which is to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SMG3, but at least this is a great way to remember the good old days of Axel as a great man. Also, flying helicopter Harambe still made me kind of say, What? Oh, yeah. Mm. Number four. Oh, yeah. Life sure is beautiful, isn't it, guys? 
Flying Gorilla. That would make a great mobile game. Number four. Sadly, for those who remember the good old, how Axel have that book to, to say how his feelings towards Melanie, sadly he did not complete it since book banks to SMG Zero. Axel is Axel's mysteriously got took taken by the by the virus. But unfortunately una unable to we don't know what happened to him until we get to see what's inside of Zero's USB. We get to see Zero's monstrous self and it's already grotesquely it looks pretty horrifying to look at. When Axel say what about what what do you what does Zero wants with him? Zero Strap just take him just just took took control of him, leading to leading towards his Zero's master plan. Despite a long time we gonna expect to see from the what happened to Axel, the truth happens in the episode Mario in the Back Mario in the Back Room, where Mario, SMG4 and SMG3 ran into and just met up Zero met up Axel who looks acting off. This is actually a pretty pretty really dark and starting to get from pretty confusingly shocking to surprisingly horrifying. Especially we get to see Eltech Axel's first form. <clears throat> also, yeah, that scene still gives us the creeps. Especially with Zero, we all knew this was going to be happening to Axel, and that led towards him take so, leading to Zero finally manages to take sunk the free the three out into the USB. The end of the episode, however, get see Act Zero's Zero's eye looking at the camera, which is looking rather similar towards the towards his previous. We first seen his eye in the episode Into the Dark Web, when when hopping behind when 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 following Bob. Witness. Plus, there is we still I still got that nightmarish scene to look at this day. We still miss you, Axel. We just wish you just stay on for much longer. But still. F F U zero, F U, and so do, and we wish you should die in this entire world of YouTube and keep Axel live. Is, is this? We're, we're back in the dark web. Ah! Oh no! Okay. Friends, welcome. Get out of here quick! I'm so glad you guys could make it. Why don't you come up here? Mamma mia. Oh no. All right, I don't have time for this creepy pasta bull crap. What the hell did we just go through? And why the hell are we here? Oh, the back rooms? That was just a quick way to get you guys here from your world so we could get ready for the main event. <laughs> it's not safe here. Messages, I left you messages to go back. Guys, we need to run. Axel, you're hurting me!
Number three. Oh yeah. Throughout all the throughout all the friends in the SMG four crew as Axel supports on, none can comparing to Meggie. She is a after following the climax of the anime arc, which involving the death of her of her rival Destiny, Meggie just promises her her rival to con to to finally win at Splatfest. Every <sighs> finally the yeah, finally the movie Meggie's Destiny finally gonna show her. True self, putting her friend with her team Mario, Luigi, and Terry. Although, although she, although beloved Maggie decided not able to drop, use the Inky Boy since being so stubborn on her on her team, she will. She tries her best to to, to win without lo without without using it. One night, Axel came to check on her. Lean just how how do they don't give up on just be yourself. It's a great it's a great moment to remember these to to remember how how supportive Axel is. And believe me, this this movie is such a great moment for Meggie. She is such a great character, she has her own show, Sunset Paradise. And it does deliver some incredible good moments towards her. Her character arc. Well, at least we love this series. Sunset Paradise was fun, but if you want to watch something that really puts Maggie's improvement, it has to go to something special as Maggie's Destiny that came out last year. Well, we love we love Axel, who's became a great friend with her, to, despite she can, despite she actually won at the end. We will miss Destiny, no, since since a couple couple of years ago, and later we'll miss miss our beloved alien Greg. So, feel any better? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm the best manga artist in the world. But even I need Ink Weaver to help me. <laughs> Why not? You already used your spider shot. What's the difference between that and an Ink Boy? You're right. You're not an inkling anymore. But you never stopped being you. You're just Maggie. And that's all the world could ever ask of you. Being an inkling's overrated. Best Maggie you can be. Anytime, beanie girl. <laughs> Sorry about that. Number two. Here we are, folks. The final battle of the anime arc. It's one of the most, pretty much the most impactful series, one of them all. F forming the results after the death of Destiny, the gang, including Axel, preparing for the fight against Francis, who has, who has several, 
has the army of Sephiroth under his belt. Until later on, he decided to pull all Trump. Decided to channel his bring in this Trump card. Jin, the one and only, the one that actually became the most powerful being in anime history, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Everyone, the game tried their best to face up against against Goku's true monstrous powers. Although, although everyone did their best at first, the only way to stop to stop him is using Mickey's ink. Despite the despite that cause that cause while well, the machine is trying to trying to trying to kill her, leading likely this we we thought Maggie dies after that explosion caused by Goku. Likely at the likely we get to treat him towards Axel's most defining moment yet, as we get to see him as he as he finally manages to get have Ink Weaver at full power. And get ready for a front and center debut of super, of the one and only that might be able to beat Goku, the one and only Ultra Instinct Shaggy. This is one. This is absolutely the most awesome scene. This in, in one of the most surprisingly brilliant arc of the series. Just before we get to see that, get to see what happens towards the climax with the battle against against our hero against against SMG Zero. Uh, don't worry though, this episode really it final hours is a great way to close up an arc. And we're here for it. <laughs> hey Francis Me? What? <laughs> it's time to end this! What? Really? Is that all? Pathetic. I'll show you something much more powerful. No, but you wouldn't know anything about that. Farewell. Ugh. And this is to go even further beyond! Ooh. Wow. Oh. No one's ever been able to call him. Only if your Inkweave is true, Master. Hi, how are you? Get him, Shaggy. Fuck you, Goku! And finally, number one. This is all we're gonna have to remember through with our hero with Axel for quite a long time in the world of SMG4. Despite it's only just two years and we all remember him so much entirely, but alas, this is actually the moment we have to say goodbye to him. In in the episode while we're gonna remember this entirely towards him, this episode this moment really get to tear jerking up. As you guys get to see him is trapped and becoming a pri prisoner and becoming a vessel for SMG Zero. This is actually pretty, pretty horrifying, depressing. As we get to see, as we get to see it with Melanie, it's a pretty heartbreaking moment to look at. He Axel also manages to tell Mel Melanie to check inside the check and show her the book. This is a pretty surprising good question that gives us what happened at the end of the final piece until the the, f the last episode to the ending of to the moment in the War of the Fat Italians. It was a when when Melanie struggle when Melanie tries her struggling to, to get to break Axel out of, out of, out of his prison, there is it's no use. There is actually one possible way to the to to, to defeat Axel, to defeat Zero, is to is to have Axel is to have Axel must go need to be get need to be must go. Melanie shows Axel that the book was a pretty at the end. It's a pretty sweet way to say goodbye. 
Axel's last words, thank you for the adventure, is a, it's a greatly honourable moment to say, to say goodbye to, to, to everyone's favourite manga artist. We all love Axel and for, the, for people across the internet who loves him entirely, it's a pretty sweet way to remember him entirely at the end. Alas, but at least we got we got one of the most coolest we got one of the best rap battles in in this year. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. We hope you guys remembered Axel entirely. That's the story we we'll need to remember through with, with for Melanie as she needs to control her powers, as we all remembered for for Axel. He is one of the best friends we wanted us to keep in, in SMG4's universe. Well, rest in peace, good old friend. And most of them all, if, you, if you're like here in, in Italian, Resquiate in pace.